Hello guys and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to get zero ping in Fortnite chapter 3 or at least to get the lowest amount you can get in your region because your region plays a huge role in how low your ping actually is but there's a lot of things you can do to reduce your ping to the bare minimum your region can offer so therefore guys if you enjoyed this kind of content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this will help me out a ton and without further to do let's get straight into it so yeah guys before we go ahead and start with the windows tweaks first we gotta do some things here in fortnite so just go to settings go to here first and then make sure you have your region selected make sure it's not on auto because it might give you a bit of pocket tools so just to make sure select your region which you have the least latency on and then press apply then go here to the last one you see player service this is unnecessary service that is running in the background you don't need it so turn it off and yeah now we're gonna start with the windows tweaks so yeah guys the main thing we're going to be talking about is how to optimize your internet adapter for the best internet performance so just click on it type dev and you'll see device manager click on it and you'll see network adapters then go to your network adapter which you're using right now double click go to power management up here on the right and make sure this is unchecked when you've done that go to advanced and then just copy all my settings so the first one adaptive enter frame spacing disabled enable pme disabled this is very important energy efficient internet off flow control disabled gigabit master slave mode auto detect interrupt moderation and interrupt moderation rate both disabled and off ipv4 checksum offload disabled jumbo packet disabled large send offload v2 ipv4 and ipv6 both disabled then legacy switch compatibility mode disabled link speed battery saver disabled also very important and then walk link state event enabled maximum number of rcc queues so make sure you have it on the highest value so for me it's on two you might have four so just put it on the highest one you have packet priority vlan make sure it's on disabled then protocol ARP offload disabled, protocol NS offload disabled, PTP hardware timestamp disabled, receive buffers. So for this one, if you have it too low, you might experience a slower internet than packet was. So just experiment with it and remember your default value. So if anything goes wrong, you can go back to it. And let's say your default value is like 512. So always multiply it to 2 so if it's 512 and I want to multiply just make it on 1000 then uh, receive size scaling disabled reduce speed on power down disabled RSS load balancing profile closest processor software timestamp disabled speed duplex auto negotiation uh, is for me so if you have 1 gigabit internet set it to 1 gigabit full duplex and if you have 100 set it to 100 megabits full duplex and maybe if you have 500 megabits just like me you might set it to 1 so you can use the most out of your internet because if you set it to 100 you're not using 400 of your megabits so just put it on auto negotiation or 1 gigabit full duplex so for me it's auto negotiation it's fine system idle power saver very important disable it tcp checksum offload ipv4 and ipv6 both disabled transmit buffers so for me this is 1024 uh, so remember that the receive buffers is not always as high as the transmit buffers so again but it works the same way just if you want to make it uh, bigger just multiply it by two so for me uh, 1024 is fine UDP checksum offload IPv6 and IPv4 disabled ultra low power mode very important disable it wait for link auto detect and then everything here on wake just disable it you don't need it and guys the thing you might want to change if you're experiencing like packet uh, with those are UDP checksum offload the TCP 
then screw up a bit and then the wars sent offload and the IPv4 checks on offload you should have them all disabled or all enabled so if you have like a weak router you might be looking to have them all disabled and if you have like a gaming router or some router that is very good you might want to leave them on enabled and that's for this step so the next step is just press ok close the next step is go to control panel go to network and internet network and sharing center click on it then go to advanced network settings then you'll see more network adapter options click on it then you see again your internet adapter right click properties then press on internet protocol version 4 double click and then you'll see the dns so it should be like this for you so just click on use the following dns server so you can put it on this 8888 and for the alternative 8844 so i would recommend doing this personally for me and for many people it gave them amazing results so just try it out because your isp won't have the best dns so try this and if it's not working delete it and type one 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 and for the alternative one zero zero one and this should work uh, better if the other one is not working but i want to have it like this as i said so if you want to test this you close this type cmd and then type ping and the dns 8888 and then just wait and then you'll see the maximum the minimum and the average and then test for the other one ping 1.1.1.1 click enter and then yeah you see so maximum 60 maximum 90 average is the same and the minimum is a bit lower but 888 is more stable for me so i'm gonna use it and you can just continue just pinging them until you find the good results and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any more questions feel free to ask them down in the comments i want for as many as possible and with that said see you on the next one Peace.